Welcome PE Magazine readers, both NSPE members and non-members alike, to this demonstration of the video game Polybridge, which is of course part of our September-October cover story, Playing Engineers. If you haven't read it yet, I recommend doing so, as well as checking out the other video game demonstrations in this series. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into the video game Polybridge. Polybridge, which came out in June of this year, is a game that simulates bridge building, or really, civil engineering. In each level of the game, players must build a bridge that meets certain performance requirements, as well as budget constraints, and uses only certain materials in certain amounts. And, to top it all off, the game uses accurate, real-world physics. It gives players the experience of building model bridges and participating in popsicle stick bridge building competitions and the like whenever they want, and without all the mess. Here I am partway through the tutorial of the game, and as you can see I'm getting some guidance and advice on how to build a successful bridge. Once finished the tutorial, players are free to make their own decisions and mistakes in their bridge designs and every level has a new problem for them to solve. We'll go ahead and run the simulation here, see that this worked out rather well, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the campaign and show you some of my attempts at civil engineering in Polybridge. Here at the start of the level, you can see some of the performance requirements for my bridge, as well as my budget and the materials that I've been given. Once I hit play here, I can bring up my wheel and show you some of the materials. I have steel, I have wood, I have road obviously, as well as hydraulics, and it looks like I also have cables there. And I'm going to have to use all of these to figure out a way to get these two buses or surfer vans across while also leaving room for two boats via a drawbridge or a double drawbridge in this particular case. The levels in Polybridge obviously take time and serious thought, so I'm going to skip ahead to my first attempt at this level. As you can see in this first attempt, I've made use of all the materials available to me in the hopes that uh, it'll work, but we'll see. <laughs> Here we go. Looking good so far. We got that van across. Oh! Dear. <laughs> well, at least part of it stayed, and the boats are going to be alright, so that's something. <laughs> Let's go ahead and skip to another attempt. Maybe this will work. Let's give it a try. Okay. <laughs> and here I am, having given up on that level, to hopefully redeem myself. And here you see a pretty fun one where we get to make a monster truck jump over a hot air balloon and get to the other side. Levels like this really add another layer of fun to Polybridge while not taking away from the engineering and physics involved in the game at all. Let's go ahead and skip to my first attempt at the monster truck jump. I think this looks pretty promising. Let's give it a try. One more cable here though. Here we go. Go, baby, go! Oh, oh man, it's the never-ending simulation! It's never going to end, it's just going to stay there. Well, I didn't fail. That's something. Let's go ahead and try another one. First thing I'm going to do is tweak the ramp here just a tiny bit. That should hopefully help the truck make it over. And then I'm going to actually build something over here so it makes it. Because I was more or less just t testing the jump at that point. Uh, so I will attempt to build something here that a monster truck can land on without it collapsing. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's skip ahead. Alright, here we go. Let's see how this works. Go, monster truck, go! Well, we lost that, but that's okay. We're just jumping a monster truck. Oh, go! Ah! <laughs> Backflip. That was cool. All right, but let's not fail at this. I can do this. I can do this. All right, I'm putting the finishing touches on my new landing area now, and I'm feeling confident. Let's go. Here we go. Monster truck. 
Here we go. You got it. Yes. <laughs> Level completed. Over budget, but I did it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I think I'll end my demonstration of the video game Polybridge on that note. I would like to point out, however, that this game is actually still in development. Like the video game Space Engineers, which is also part of this video series, it's not done yet. The developer is still working on it. It's just been made available through Digital Game Store Steam's Early Access program. Two features of the game, also worth mentioning before I end this video, are its sandbox mode, which allows you to just play around without any restrictions or budgets or limitations on materials and that kind of thing, and just push the limits of what you can really do uh, with this game. And the other is that you can save all of your attempts, creations in this game, as animated GIFs and share them with your friends on Twitter. So that's a lot of fun. Good for a laugh, if nothing else. And that's the game Polybridge. Thanks for joining me for this demonstration, and I hope if you haven't already, you'll join me for my others on the games Trove and Space Engineers. And obviously, please read our September-October cover story, Playing Engineers, if you haven't done that already as well.